Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will learn more about the grammars, and uh, let us see a formal definition of the grammar. Uh, a grammar actually is a collection of set of word, word, uh, vertices. Those are also known as the variables, the terminals, the production, and the start symbol. Okay. So here V is representing the variable or vertices. T is representing terminals. This P is representing the productions, and this S is representing the start symbol. So, in every grammar, there will be some variables, some terminals, some productions, and the start symbol. For example, S produces small a capital S B is a production wherein S is the start symbol. The small a is the terminal, capital S is the start symbol, and B is the non terminal in fact s b both are the non terminals in which s is the start symbol so a start symbol has to be a non uh, a variable only this uh, that we can say that is the non terminal also okay there is another production s produces small a b there is another production b produces small b so in these productions of a grammar the variables are s and b the terminals are small a and small b productions are s produces a s b s produces small a b and b produces b so these are the productions and the start symbol is capital s okay so this way we can formally define the grammar now uh, we can perform the derivation to find out what are the various strings that can be represented by the language defined by the grammar for example if we have to find out what language is defined by this grammar so we can derive a string through this by taking a produces asp then reducing every symbol or changing every right hand side symbol that is the non terminal with the help of the right hand side of some production okay for example if we had uh, if we have the right hand side of the production s produces asp the a is non terminal uh, a is the terminal symbol so it cannot be changed it has to be fixed but s can be changed either from the production asp or small ab so let us say that we are going to change this s with a b means s produces a b we are using this production the b remains same now for this small uh, capital b we are going to change it with only one option that is p and then we are going to change this p symbol also as a b okay so at a time one symbol or one non terminal symbol is replaced by the right hand side of some production okay if you see that uh, what we are doing here we are doing or uh, we are taking the symbol from left to right okay we are taking the symbol from left to right and then changing it so if we are reducing or if we are changing the symbol taking one symbol from the left hand side and then converting it to the right uh, to the right hand side of any production it means we are doing the left most derivation we are doing the leftmost derivation so a string has been found with the help of the leftmost derivation that is double a double b it means a a b b is the string of language that is generated by the grammar g okay so here what what are what are the rules for these these derivations that we have performed the leftmost derivation that we are taking one symbol at a time and then reducing it with the help of the right hand side of any production okay so we are taking a symbol from left and then we are, we are moving towards the right that's why we said that this is the leftmost derivation okay so uh, while doing the derivation you find this asb first then you find double a capital double b then aab and capital b and then finally aabb so all these strings which are we which we are finding in between the derivation 
are called the sentential forms okay all these are the sentential forms we can perform the rightmost derivation also for the same string for example s produces a s b is the production we are taking and then we are moving from right hand side to left hand side so we can convert this speech symbol to small b in the first and then we are going to change this symbol s with the help of the second production so s produces a b then we are moving from right to left and taking this symbol to convert to the right hand side of any production that is b produces b okay so we have reduced all the non terminal symbol to the terminal symbol so again we have found a string double a double b so same string so here what we uh, what action we have performed was the rightmost derivation why it was a rightmost derivation because we have taken the non terminal symbol from right hand side converted that to the uh, or we have changed that with the right hand side of some production and then move towards the left so this is the rightmost derivation here also this is the sentential form this is also the sentential form this is also the sentential form this is also the sentential form so any intermediate string that we are finding while derivation are called the sentential form so any string found during derivation are called sentential form okay so the derivation that we are doing uh, can be represented with the help of the tree also so that we will be saying that that is the derivation tree how the derivation trees are built s produces a s b and then let's say we are going to change this symbol s with the right hand side of this production second production so a b in the next step we are going to change this bs small b and then we are going to this change this bs small b okay so the string that we are finding is small a small a small b small b so the same string we are finding okay once again the string that uh, the the derivation that we have used is changing the left hand side symbol first or changing the left hand side terminal uh, non terminal symbol first and then moving towards the right so that's why this is one of the parse tree which is using the leftmost derivation okay so we can perform the same with the right hand side uh, also it means the rightmost derivation so s uh, s produces asp then we can change this symbol to the big small b first and then we can change this to small a capital b okay and then we can change this symbol to small b so this also is finding small a small a small b small b so this is this is again we are doing for the derivative we are doing again doing the derivation using the rightmost derivation so this is the derivation tree okay so the leftmost derivation and the rightmost derivation can be represented with the help of the derivation tree also okay now uh, let us uh, take some examples and let us uh, write the grammars for those for example we have to write the grammar for the language that uh, accepts all the strings of length 2 okay the alphabets those are allowed are a and b and we have to find all the strings of length 2 with a and b so one of the string is a a one of the string is ab another string is ba another string is bb okay so this is the language represented by the gram we have to write the grammar for this so this this can be represented as a plus b or a plus b okay so first symbol can be a or b and second symbol can also be a or b okay so this this is same as this one so we can write it as s produces a a where a can be either small a or small b 
so this is the grammar see there are two things here this one and this one so that's why in the grammar we have written two two uh, variable symbols on the right hand side which can take the value either a or b a or b so s produces a a is the first production and a capital a produces small a or a small b that is the second symbol now let us write another grammar that accepts all the strings of a so all strings of a so if all strings with a and we have only one symbol that is a so the string could be a power n where n is greater than or equal to 0 ok so what could be that uh, those strings epsilon a double a triple a and so on and so forth ok so in our production what we can write that epsilon has to be there because epsilon is accepted in the language other than this we must have a small a ok if epsilon is not there then at least we should have one small a after that we can have any number of a so that can be written like this ok so if let's say if we have to derive small a so how can it be derived a produces small a capital A and then in the next step a can be derived at epsilon so a into epsilon is a so this is the smallest string let's say we have to derive a a a triple a a produces small a capital A then again a produces small a capital A and then a produces epsilon so this is a a a string derived by this term ok now let's take another example let's say we have to uh, write the grammar for the language that accepts any combination of a and b ok any combination of a and b it means in the alphabet set we have a and b so for language that accepts any combination of a and b will be this one a plus b star ok so now the smallest string that can be represented with this can be epsilon ok in the language set we must have a string that is epsilon then we can have a small a small b and then any combination a a a b or b a b b or a a b and so on and so forth any combination so how can that be represented let's say small a capital S if we take S as epsilon a can be represented or small b capital S if S is epsilon b can be represented now if you have to represent this small a capital A so first S produces a s and then again a produces a s and then s produces epsilon ok so if we, ha if we have to find this a we use this production if we have to find this b we have to use this production in every iteration or in every derivation iteration we are increasing the number of a or number of b by 1 so that's why all the strings with the help of uh, uh, with a and b can be written like this so this is the grammar for any combination of a and b let's say we have to write a grammar for set of all string of length at least two ok set of all strings of length at least two so at least two means first let us say that uh, the alphabet set is a and b so at least 2 means minimum 2 so first character may be a and b second character may be a or b and third may 
third onwards is optional or we can increase the symbols so this is the regular expression and if we see that there are three terms first term and second term which are same and the third term which is a variable term okay it it can have it can take a or b or it cannot take a or b or it may take more than a or b so the grammar is s produces capital a capital a b where a is either a or b but this b can either be a or b or it may be epsilon as well so if you have to represent the string of exact two length then we will have to take this one and this one we will not have to take this one so if you are not taking this one this should be epsilon and now since we want to increase the length it can be like this we can increase the length by b produces ab b produces bb if we want an a we will use this production if we have if we want b we should use this production if we do not want a or b we should use epsilon so this is another gram let's take another example set of all strings of length at most two okay so if you have to write for at most two means not more than two so what will be the regular expression for this here we are considering that a and b are the alphabet set so language will accept either a or b or any length like this but not more than 2 but epsilon will also be there so that's why we have taken a or b or epsilon a or b or epsilon this is same this is same so s produces capital a capital a where a produces either a or b or epsilon fine let's take another example set of all strings of a and b starting with a and ending with b okay so regular expression will be starting with a ending with b in between we can have any combination of a and b so small a is fixed small b is fixed the variable term is this one so how can we write this s produces small a and small b towards the end in between we have a variable term so this is the variable term so a can be either a or it can be either b or it can be epsilon if you want to increase a use this production if you want to increase b use this production if you want to uh, if you do not want any symbol use epsilon let's take the reverse of this one means uh, not the reverse ex exactly uh, starting and ending with different symbol starting and ending with different symbol so what could it be if it starts with a it ends with b if it starts with b it should end with a okay so we are changing here in in this only as per this small a capital a b or b small b capital a small in between we can have any anything so a produces small a a or small b a sorry here also it should be a or epsilon okay so we just have to fix these two symbols in between we can have any anything of in or any combination of a and b let's take another one starting and ending with same symbol so 
So starting and ending with same symbol means if it starts with A, it should end with A. If it starts with B, it should end with B. Okay. It it can uh, only be A also. Uh, A also. It can only be B also or epsilon. Okay. So S produces small a, capital A, a, which is starts with A and ends with A. Starts with B and ends with B. In, in between we can have anything. Or it can be only small a. Small a starts with A and ends with A. It's small b, it starts with B and ends with B. And epsilon obviously. So what would be A? Same as this one. Small a, capital A. Or small b, capital A. Or epsilon. Okay, so this way we can write the grammars for anything. You can take another example. Uh, that example is of, uh, let's say, uh, the grammar for uh, palindrome. Okay, grammar for palindrome. Let's say the strings, those are acceptable, or oh, sorry, the characters in the character sets we have this. Uh, a and B only. In the character set, we have small a, small b. So small a will be palindrome, small b will be palindrome. Okay. Now what could uh, what could we uh, add here? The double a is the palindrome. Double b is the palindrome. Okay. Now. small a capital A capital V no it cannot be palindrome so it has to start with A and end with B A or start with B and end with B so starting and ending with the same symbol but we are applying the restriction we are applying the restriction inside also means starting and ending with the same symbol we have already written the grammar for this now we have to make changes in this A such that it represents the uh, parent, it, it is a representation for the parent row. Fine. So, for this, rather than writing the symbol A here, where you are allow, allowing anything or any combination of uh, small a and small b, you will actually have to change this A symbol to the start symbol. Okay, why so? Let's say we have to write A, B, A. So this is a palindrome. So if we write S here in place of capital A. So small a, capital S, small a. Now you can change this symbol to B. S produces B. Okay, Lord, let's say we have to write A, B, B, A. So for this S produces A. S A and then for this S B S B and then for, those, for this S epsilon so A B B A so this is the palindrome so what is the grammar for this for the palindrome S produces A S A or B S B or small a or small b or epsilon so this is the grammar for palindrome. Thank you.